Good evening, everybody. It's Zechariah from Running for Heroes. Tonight we're doing just one mile. This mile is for a fallen first responder from Indiana. And our mile tonight is for fallen Sergeant Heather Glenn. She worked with the Tell City Police Department in Indiana and her end of watch was July 3rd of 2023. She lost her life after she was shot and killed while responding to arrest a subject at a local hospital. She was 47 years old, have her passing, spending 20 years of service, and leaves behind a loving family. Tonight I'm running with the blue and flag in her honor. I'll be doing seven laps around the track loop at my school, the equivalent amount in her honor, and I'll be joining her tonight by many first responders, supporters, and my family who are joining us. Before the run starts, I'm going to do a quick prayer in our whole family and department through the hard time they're going through, and then I'll be on my way. For those that are tuning in tonight, tonight's Zechariah running just one mile this evening, this mile tonight in honor of the fallen sergeant, Heather Glenn. She served with the Tell City Police Department in Indiana, tragically losing her life on July the 3rd, 2023. She lost her life after she was shot and killed while attempting to arrest a subject at a local hospital. She was 47 years old at the time of her passing, having served 20 years in law enforcement and 20 years being with the Tell City Police Department Sadly, she leaves behind a loving family. Zachariah completing his first of seven laps tonight, which is one mile. This mile tonight again in honor of Fallen Sergeant Heather Glenn. We always appreciate every local agency that continually comes out to help honor our fallen heroes alongside Zechariah tonight, helping to honor fallen Sergeant Heather Glenn. We have members of our neighboring agency, the Oviedo Police Department, multiple members of our hometown agency, the Winter Springs Police Department. And it looks like coming in as well, a member of our home county agency, the Seminole County Sheriff's Office. Once again, we're here tonight to pay tribute to fallen Sergeant Heather Glenn of the Tell City Police Department in Indiana who tragically on July 3rd, 2023, lost her life after she was shot and killed while attempting to arrest a subject at a local hospital. She was 47 years old, serving 20 years of service with the Tell City Police Department. Sadly, leaves behind a loving family. Zachariah now concluding his second of seven laps tonight to honor Sergeant Heather Glenn here this evening. For every mile completed by our youth runners, they carry a unique flag, and each flag gets sent to the family of the hero that they run to honor tonight. Zachary right carrying the blue line flag. This flag will begin to work its way to the family of fallen Sergeant Heather Glenn, along with a note that Zachary right wrote earlier in the day. If you'd like information on how you can be a part of the Running for Heroes mission, you can visit running the number four heroes.org. We'll also do a follow up post a little bit later tonight with details on how you can be a part of the Running for Heroes mission. As Zechariah completes lap number three, begins lap number four, I'm gonna go silent. I'm gonna remain silent for the remaining four laps as we reflect on life this hero tonight. Fallen Sergeant Heather Glenn. We extend our heartfelt prayers to everybody with the Tell City Police Department in Indiana, as well as the entire Glenn family and the entire state of Indiana having the mourn the loss of yet another one of their heroes. Our hope is that this run honors Sergeant Glenn well tonight and we thank her for her 20 years of faithful service to our community.
Zachary, any final words tonight for the family of fallen sergeants? Heather Glenn. To the entire family of Sergeant Heather Glenn, the members of her community in the Tell City Police Department whom she served with, and all of her friends that she made while serving, we hope all be here very soon to the passing of your loved one. Unfortunately, we've lost another first responder due to being shot and killed. Another incident where it could have been easily avoided with one person's decision, that being the suspect. That suspect's decision ultimately caused the life and decided whether or not if she was still going to be on this earth or not. It's very unfortunate how we always have to run for this. Um, I know that Sergeant Glenn knew that this could happen any time in her career. She trains for this, like every first responder. But it's just so disappointing how you spend 47 long years of your life you know, working to become a police officer, working to help benefit your family, just to get shot and killed instantly like this. It's so unfortunate that it happens so much and it, and it bleeds out communities because it's, un, it's, it's an unexpected incident that happens that no one ever knows that's coming. So our prayers will stay with all of you through this loss. If you are part of her family, so Sergeant Glenn, I'll be sending this blind flag around its sign in here's honor along with the handwritten notes that I've already written. We hope this run can help you out through this time of healing. Now, if all of you now join us in a 21 second moment of silence, just like the 21 gun salute each second day, one amazing thing she did during her life. Following this will also be a prayer, so this time please join us in this 21 second moment of silence. Dear Heavenly Father, tonight we ran, we ran a one mile run in our fallen sergeant from Indiana who lost her life after being shot and killed. God, I pray you watch over her whole family and departments the loss they're going through, especially knowing that this is the first loss we've had to run for in our community. Uh, we also pray that you guide anybody going through hard time to this run so they can find comfort. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you for joining us this one mile run. That's, that's it for tonight, uh, but we do have at least two to do on uh, Friday. So say a prayer and let's, let's hope we don't do any more after that. Um, we hope all have a great and safe night, especially if you're a first responder working tonight. And I pray God blesses you all.